A very warm welcome everyone, my name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga and we're looking at Fantasy World Dizzy, published by Codemasters in 1991. Uh, based on the 8-bit games, most notably on the ZX Spectrum, which came out in 1989, designed by the Oliver Twins, this is published by Codemasters in 1991, so two years after the Spectrum version. Basically you control an egg called Dizzy in this series, his girlfriend Daisy has been kidnapped by the King Troll and Dizzy must rescue her by uh, jumping on different platforms and solving different puzzles. Now we start off in this dungeon guarded by a troll, we have to find our way out of here. Uh, and this troll isn't helping. Nice bouncy music all the way through this one, so there's a few items to pick up. The version stays quite... um faithful to the Spectrum version but with improved graphics it moves quite well and it's quite a, a fun game so far. We start from the castle's dungeon, the uh, room names are at the top there. We've got to put out that fire which is blocking the uh, gateway there. How do we put that out? Well we picked up a jug of water, there's a rat going up and down the uh, top there, we picked up a stale loaf of bread and uh, that will be useful for um, getting past him. Right here we go, jug of water, stale bread, chuck the water over the fire I think. If it's the same as the Spectrum version. There we go. Boom. Good stuff. We'll be looking every so often at these dizzy games going through. You must also collect as a side mission 30 coins which are dotted around the map. Some of them are really carefully hidden. Off we go. I think we picked out an apple as well. Right, there's Dizzy on the top left, Daisy on the right. We must find where she is. And I think there'll be other dizzy folk from the Yokeville. Uh, to help us along our way. Also, there's a river there, we can't get through that. The levels look very similar to the Spectrum version in layout at least. Right, I think we need to get up here. Do we? I don't seem to be able to jump up there, what's going on? Did you have this one back in the day? Did you buy it only because you liked the Spectrum version or Commodore 64? Let me know. Quite a nice cute game this. I think it's slightly better than the first uh, conversion of Dizzy Games, which is Treasure Island Dizzy, which we reviewed a few weeks ago. Have a look at that one if you haven't already. Music is slightly better on this one, and I think the puzzles are slightly better as well. Right, there, that was useless troll, giving him an apple. We, we know, we know the fire's out anyway. Well done. So we can't go back that way. Duh, 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 duh. It's like a river. Is that it's like a, a raft? We might go there a bit later on, but let's go this way. I'm sure I can get up here. There we go. Boom. Screen scrolls. Now we must dump this stale loaf of bread. He'll eat that and run off. I'm not sure how far he goes across, though, to be honest. Not very much. We've got to move it along a bit more. Right. There we go. You're carrying stale loaf of bread. Right. Rats like bread. The ravenous rat eats the loaf and runs away. Go away, ratty. Right, that's the end of him. So if you're ever confronted by a rat, make sure you've got a stale loaf of bread in your pocket. Uh, if you're an egg, if you're a human, probably find another way round. Right, so we escape the dungeon first of all, up here. Nice bit of scroll. Well, there's an alligator there. Can we jump on him? I don't think so. What's that? There's an object there. Can we pick that up? Yes. You're carrying a bottle of whiskey. Good. It's always good to carry whiskey. And it's raining as well. That crocodile loves the rain. Do, 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 do. There's a coin there. Boof. Right, coins collected one. You can see in the top right there next to Daisy. Green one. So it's an exploration game. You're going to get gradually further as you go along. No saves in this game. You've got to do it all in one or nothing. But in modern save states, you could probably save it. There's a coin there. We won't bother getting that because um, this won't be a walkthrough, I can tell you. We're just going to have to look to see how this plays, what's its uh, music like, and can we solve a few puzzles. But I'd imagine um, I'm going to get as far as we did on the Spectrum version where I got a bit uh, stuck at a rhino or something. There's a switch there. Hit that and I think the gate below will open. But it's broken. There we go. So that's going up and down I think. Yes. Doesn't stay open because it's broken. We're going to skip through there. If the gate falls on us we're crushed like a crushed egg. Another coin. Thank you. Whoops. Whoa. I'm getting dizzy. Right. Boom. Dizzy. No, no pun intended. Well, a little bit. Why is Daisy getting herself kidnapped? Now, in each of these Dizzy games, there's someone of the yoke folk, often Daisy, in some perilous trouble, and we must always rescue them. Yeah. 
Doo -doo -doo. Right, this is about as far as I got before. This is some sort of rhino dog creature. I don't think we can jump over it. His name's Armorog, which you might be able to see in the top there. Will he... Can we use a bottle of whiskey to get rid of him? I'm not sure. There's a flashing item below me. Pick that up. Right, that's 200. See, look, he stops and you're dead. You're a crushed egg. If you're an egg, comment below. We lost a life. Right, we've got a few lives here. Not many we can waste. Whiskey doesn't seem to be any good on this thing. Animals and whiskey, eh? They just don't do uh, They just don't. Uh, oh, look, I've drunk the whiskey. What does that mean? So it's an empty bottle now. Yeah, an empty bottle. So maybe that means we need to fill up the bottle with something. There was that crocodile over the other side. And there's some water about. Maybe we can fill that up. Who knows? Someone did tell me how to get past that rhino thing on the Spectrum of You, but I for I've forgotten what it was. Well done, Nick. Well done, you. Commodore Amiga. Now, I think this version stands up in its own right, really. Good stuff. I'm enjoying it. Uh, I'd like to have an instruction to know how to do the whole thing, because I think I, I'm quite tempted to go back in my own time and complete this game. It's quite rewarding, quite cute, uh, good to play. Collision detection is spot on, and it just looks all round nice, really. See you later, alligator. Can I jump on him? Or tempt him with an empty bottle? No. You'll know when you solve something, because uh, it will tell you. It says, like, you use the empty bottle to kill the crocodile, but that didn't happen here. So this is the Troll's Castle. Daisy's here somewhere. Hopefully we get some help from some of the other yoke folk before the review's over. You never know. Right, so uh, can we get up there when there's some sort of tower? There's spikes above and another fire there. So presumably we have to put that fire out. Maybe I have to use the bottle to fill with water and then put that fire out, maybe. Can I get that coin? Hmm, this is a bit tricky. The scroll it oh no. Can you you must be able to jump across there. I can't see any way of doing it, folks. If you've completed this game, either on the Spectrum version or the Commodore Amiga or any other version, then let me know what happens at the end. Is there some amazing game over sequence? I very rarely see the end of these games, game over stuff. There's quite not too many games I've completed. Attic Attack was one of them. I loved Attic Attack. On the set of Spectrum, of course that. But you needed a lot of dedication back in the day to complete this. So nowadays there's too many there's too many distractions. You've got too many things to do. As a kid you might have only had this and a few other games. But there we go. You had fewer games as a kid, so you you uh, put more attention to them. And uh, yeah, that's where nostalgia comes in, isn't it? I knew that wasn't gonna work. Eggs and crocodiles don't mix. I was hoping to use him as a stepping stone, but it did not work. Yo, 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 not my stepping stone, as the monkey sang or something similar. N -n 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 right, I think we'll have I think we'll have a couple of other goes. Try and go in a different direction, one go more at least. We're playing this on the joystick, but you can play on the keys. Space or fire to start. It's in demo mode at the moment. I don't know what level this is, but not one I've seen. There's a troll there with googly eyes. Googly eyes are good, unless you're an airline pilot or driver. Right, we know what to do here, don't we? So let's not mess around. Jug of water, we've got a green apple. Put that there. And the flames will get drenched. I seem to remember the Spectrum version, you had to put some leaves there? Or perhaps I'm remembering that wrong. Perhaps I'm remembering that wrong. Don't know, I'll have to see that thing again. Do, 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 do. Another platform game I've been meaning to look at on the Spectrum at least, not sure it came out on the Commodore Amiga, is the Seymour games. Right, so that was a plank of wood. Looks like it's going to be a leap of faith now onto the other side. Uh, oh yeah, oh dear. Yeah, okay, so that's the right way to go, but don't do a double jump because you'll land on spikes and then you scramble. Right, can I. Mm. Do I have to jump from there? No, I could probably walk from there. This is the secret passage, and I think there's going to be a lot of goodies through here. Careful. Right, just about. There's another platform there I can just about see. The stuff through here better be good. It better be good after all this effort. Uh, leap of faith. On it again, right. Now, if, if uh, Dizzy bumps into any of these flames, he will instantly die. There's a skull there. I'm not sure what that's about. I don't really want to bump into that thing. That could be infinite death. Oh, that's just points. Is this something good? Oh, 
That's just points as well. So the skull's probably just going to be points also. Oh no! There was a chicken over the other side or a bomb or something. So we found the smuggler's cave. Hmm. Um, yeah, okay, no, right. This is definitely my last go, folks. So addictive are these games, We're trying to solve the puzzles and get through. You get to a point and then you're stuck on it for weeks and then you're in your bed not playing it and you think, oh yeah, I could get that and do this and go around there. That's how to do that. So addictive they are. As I say, this one I find a bit more addictive than the first one. Treasure Island Dizzy, but both are pretty good. Stale bread. Boof. Da, 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 da. 1991, the Commodore Amiga version. All the 8-bit versions, 1989. Codemasters, and they produce such a load of good games. Gotta love Dizzy, he's one of the big ones. Bom, 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 bom. What's your favourite uh, gaming character on the Commodore Amiga? Let me know. Is it Zool? Is it Dizzy? Is it someone else? Is it Duke Nukem? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of any others. The Spectrum had so many iconic ones. Go, go, Gadget. I don't think the Spectre Gadget make it to the Amiga. I'm not sure about that. It's a well-kept castle. The cleaners are there. Nice brickwork. Oh, the flames are burning. I don't know what they're burning, but it's nicely lit. Right, we know we need to get that switch above, don't we? Let's try and find some different rooms. Let's try and make some leap of faith somewhere. Try and find, show you as much of the game as I possibly can in the limited time that we've got. We've thrown the switch, we know what that does. Can we go up? Oh, there we go. There we go. Good. Right, what's up here? There's a coin, if I can get to it. Bam. Right, so we've collected two coins out of 30, so you can tell sort of like how big this game is. Getting past that rhino thing is like a major thing I think I need to do at some stage. It's always always nice these games as a kid when you did solve a puzzle and then you suddenly saw some new screens. It's like having a new game. Oh look, it's one of the yoke folk over there, I think. Who's that? It's a pop star with dark glasses on. Looks a bit like Cool Spot. Right. Who is it? It's loading something. It's Denzel! What are you doing here, Denzel? Don't you know it's dangerous here? Stay cool, dears. And he says all that stuff. Right, he's checking out the castle. Where's he's looking for Daisy? I'm looking for Daisy. Nice chit chat going on. Pretty basic, but okay. Right, okay, right. Denzel's. Uh, he's giving me a rope, has he? Have I got the rope? I'm not sure I've got it. Right, I've got a rope. Maybe we can uh, rope up the rhino with the um, with the rope. It might connect to the empty bottle somehow. Who knows? Right, get the timing right. I don't want to get crushed now. Good. Over the bridge. Right, you're going to get it now, Rhino Man. What's going on? I don't think I picked up the rope. I thought Denzel gave me the rope automatically. Right. Sorry, folks. So sorry, folks of yokes. We need to go and get the rope. Unless Denzel lied. Maybe there wasn't a rope. He was listening to quite heavy music, wasn't he? He might not know what he's doing. Denzel! Du, 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 du. Moat and pork colours. Get across the oh, man. My gameplay is never the best, but you're used, you're used to that by now. It's all about seeing what the gameplay is like when your first couple of goes. Right, Den right, there's the rope next to him. Denzel, uh, yeah, thanks. I'm just taking the rope, Denzel. You could have let me know I didn't have it. Right, as he rocks on next to a fire. He's going to get cooked, the idiot. You big idiot. As Father Ted would say in the show, uh, Father Ted. Right, we've got the rope now. Surely we're going to solve this thing, are we not? The Amiga. Got to love that computer. I had an Amiga 500. Never had a 1200, but I did have a memory expansions up to about, I think, 2 megs in the end. Didn't have the hard drive, but had an had external disk drive, which helped a little bit. Right, piece of rope, a bottle of whiskey. This doesn't seem to be happening, it's just dumping it. Maybe we have to go here. Piece of rope? No, that's not working. Oh, no. Curses blast, that's not how you do it. How do you do it? Comment below. How do you get past armor wrong? I mean, there's not too many other items I can pick up here, so I must be quite close to solving it, but just I can't add two to two together possibly getting five and a half. 
Right, there's no other ob other objects. There was something in the smuggler's cave, wasn't there, which I identified as a chicken. Maybe we need that. Or can we tie up the crocodile, perhaps? No. That's not doing anything. That's not doing anything. I think it could be game over soon. Boy, time does go quickly when you're playing retro games. We've been playing this, I think, for over a quarter of an hour now. That's longer than I intended. Du, 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 du. Right. I don't know what I'm doing. Nick, what are you doing? I don't know. Right, let's try and jump over him then. I'm running out of ideas. Unless we can... I don't know. Unless he's tempted by a bottle of whiskey, but we know he isn't. And I've drunk the whiskey. Um, can I combine those two together? Hmm. Maybe I have to entice that thing really close and then jump over him that way. Is that the way forward? Yeah. I don't think I can jump over him from here. It might be worth a go though. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. Right, I think I've only got one life left, folks. No! Oh, curse you, Armorog, and your den! I don't think that's it, is it? That's it. Good stuff! Let's put my initials in again there. We all know. It's N, 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 N. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I'm a fan of this. Um, that was Fantasy World Dizzy on the Commodore Amiga, published by Codemasters in 1991, and based on the 8-bit games from 1989. Got any comments about this one? Then please put your thoughts below. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.